Hello everybody, welcome back to another Japanese convenience store taste test. Guess what we're trying out today? Today we are eating a variety of steam buns from our neighborhood Lawson store. We're going to be starting out with the very basic nikuman. This is the basic nikuman which simply means meat bun. And this one goes for 120 yen. That's a pretty fair mm -hmm. price, don't you named, think? Named Juicy Nikuman. Juicy Nikuman. Well, let's see if that is true. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's actually quite a lot of meat in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. We recently did a Nikuman taste test from 7 Eleven. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And their basic Nikuman, I don't think they have this much meat in it. Let's go. Dadakimasu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's actually quite meaty mm. and tasty and mm. flavorful. Mm. Very meaty. Right? Mm -hmm. I can taste it though. A meat but some sweetness. Mm. Mm. It reminds me like shumai taste. I actually prefer this basic one to the 7-Eleven basic mm -hmm. one. Since I'm pretty impressed with the basic one, I'm really curious as to try the next one. Mm -hmm. The next one is Kamayaki Chashu Man. Uh, the price is 160 yen. Char siu, if you guys didn't know already, is a Chinese style roast pork. The surface design is really beautiful. It's like a flower. Mm -hmm. It's different from the first one. True, true. Okay, so let's see what this one looks like on the inside. Oh, okay, this one is a lot juicier than that first one. Look at that, look at that. And you see chunks of meat in here. So that must be the chunks of char siu roast pork. And I do believe there are some vegetables in here as well. And the bun is a lot fluffier, I think. Look at that. The mm. bun is super fluffy. <laughs> it's fluffy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I, I'm going to try just a little bit of the bun. Oh, I want to nice see what the idea. bun tastes like. Mmm. Mm. 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 It's fluffy and it also has a little bit of a chew. Ah, oh, right. Right? The first one has just the fluffiness. Mm -hmm. This one has, yeah, it's fluff, uh, fluffy and chew. Right, right. It does. Mm. It has like it, ha it has like an elasticity to it. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, mm. oh! That's totally different taste. Mm. Totally mm. different flavor. So mm. Mm. This and is not regular um, meat bun. Oh, this is delicious. Mm. And you also have like a charcoal flavor. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is good. Mm. Oh my goodness, this is delicious. Mm. Mm. This has a very similar sweetness to like the cha siu bao that you eat at dim sum places, like mm. in Hong Kong. Mm. I love this one. Mm. All right, number three on the list is buta no kakuntiman, which is a sort of like simmered pork belly. It's delicious. It's one of our favorite things to put in our mouths. And this one is a little different. The shape is completely different. This mm. is basically a slab of that meat mm. Mm. wrapped wrapped with that bun mm -hmm. and this one is a little pricey this is 238 yen it's, it's, it's actually almost double the price of the, the basic nikuman so this is what it looks like and um this one maybe i think i should cut it with a knife cutting it in half and this one is for you thank you wow look oh. check it out oh. look at that piece of meat in there kakuni da kakuni. Wow, that looks so mm. good. And soy sauce. -y. Oh yeah, mm. smells amazing. Mm. It smells amazing. This sauce. Mm. I, I can tell this is gonna be amazing. I hope. I hope. I hope I didn't speak too soon. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, that piece of meat is amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. If you like these simmered pork belly, oh my god, this one has your name on it. It's super meaty and it's mm. pretty substantial. Meat is pretty soft. Mm -hmm. mm. And the bun is really nice and soft mm. without being mushy. You know, there is one convenience store that I will not name that I had a pork bun. And the bun was um, soggy. One corner of the bun was extremely soggy. It was terrible. It was like one of the worst steam buns I've ever had. I, I, I couldn't believe that you actually could get something like that here in Japan because the quality of the convenience stores here are pretty high. That particular convenience store fortunately is very rare and you don't really see see them too often and um, I will not name. The next one is Torori Cheese no Pizza Man. Pizza Man. Pizza. Yeah. Pizza. Mm, beautiful. The color is orange. Maybe the color of cheese. Maybe. 
and the price is 120 yen. Okay, that's not too bad. That's actually the same price as the basic nikuma. You can eat pizza 120 yen. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the Ooh. inside. It looks um, pizza like... Pizza sauce. Yeah, like, like a pizza sauce colored mm -hmm. filling. And um, yeah, the bun is soft. And it smells like pizza. Hmm. Smell is pizza. <laughs> or, 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 or spaghetti. I'm not sure. Because <sighs> you remember the 7-Eleven yes, one? So it tasted like spaghetti, <laughs> not like pizza. Meat sauce. <laughs> yeah, like meat sauce. So this, I don't know, this, this kind of smells like spaghetti again. Maybe it's a tomato and meat. <laughs> maybe, maybe. That combination, yeah. All right. Thank you, Mas. Oh, is this cheese? Mm, yes. Mm. Yes, there are like mm. uh, chunks of oh, cheese in here mm, that's mm, melted, mm, mm, which is very interesting. Mm. Once again, though, I think like this one tastes more like spaghetti sauce, spaghetti sauce. than pizza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can taste a little bit. Up taste. Mm, mm. Yeah, maybe basil. there's like basil or something. Mm -hmm. mm. It's quite delicious. You yeah. know, I don't like hate it, mm. but I wish they could replicate the taste of pizza. Mm. It tastes more like spaghetti sauce mm. once again, mm. just like the 7-Eleven one. Today, mm. I think maybe my my tongue problem, <laughs> taste problem, but everything has a sweeter side taste. Really? Rather than uh, 7 Eleven one. Mm. Don't you think so? I, I think the ones that we're trying today are mm. definitely on the sweeter side mm. compared mm. to 7 Eleven. Mm. The, the, the basic Nikuman at 7 Eleven wasn't so sweet mm. compared to this one. Mm. Mm. But so far, I'm very happy with what we're eating today. Okay, the next one we have here is the cheese karema, which is cheese, cheese curry. and curry. Oh, bun. cheese and curry. Right, and this one oh. is 130 yen, so it's 10 yen more than the pizza one. Maybe because there's meat in here, I don't know. This one is yellow color, mm -hmm. reminiscent of color. Japanese curry, <laughs> right? So let's check out the inside. Oh, check out that oh. cheese! Is this cheese? Yeah, wow. I'm surprised. Wow. Wow, okay, so when they say cheese, they really mean cheese. Mm. They really mean business. I, I didn't expect such big piece of cheese. Me neither. Curry. <laughs> Me neither. And this one, you see, there's like ground beef in here. So there's a lot more meat in here than the pizza one. It smells like um, kind of like an Indian so, curry. So, so. I think so right? too. Yeah, mm. Mm. rather than um, Japanese curry. Mm. That's so interesting. I was not expecting that. Okay, Takimasu. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. Mmm, that's a lot of cheese. But cheese doesn't work so well as taste. Mmm, you know, I'm on a fence about that. <clears throat> because the 7 Eleven one also had cheese in it, mm -hmm. if you remember. But this one just has a lot more cheese. I, I, I do agree with you that there is maybe too much cheese. Too much cheese. Mm -hmm. Because you can almost not taste the curry. Mm -hmm. Whereas the 7 Eleven one, the cheese was distributed throughout mm -hmm. the entire mm -hmm. thing. So you got like an even balanced taste. The curry is good though. Curry is good. Huh? Mm. Curry is good. So mm. only karebam without the cheese is better, I mm. think. You may be right. Mm. I, I think I would prefer that too. Mm. Because the, the because the curry is really good. The curry reminds me of kima curry, the Indian kima curry. But yeah, the cheese just gets in the way. Mm. You're absolutely right. The last one is goma amam. Mm. It's a sesame seeds um bun. Right, the 120 yen, <laughs> <laughs> and this is dessert. It's a sweet it's a one. Sweet one. Right, isn't it interesting? We were just talking about this, but why don't they just have plain amman anymore? <laughs> this has goma amman. Goma, goma amman. is sesame seeds. Mm. It's just like the 7-Eleven when mm. it was the same. same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's such a mystery to us. Mm -hmm. We want to eat simple amman. Yeah, Japanese viewers, if you know the answer to this, please let us know. What happened to the plain uncle buns? We're very curious. The color is black sesame. Maybe. 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 So looking at the inside, okay, it's very black in color. And it's it's I think it's thicker than the one from 7 Eleven. The 7 mm -hmm. one was smoother and softer, I think. Hmm. Smells good. Smells like sesame, sesame seeds, seeds and well. Sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uncle doesn't really have mm. a fragrance, I think. Yeah, alright, let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. 
Je t'aime ici. Yeah. Yeah. Very different. Very different in texture and slightly different in taste from the 7 Eleven one. It's really interesting when you compare. Sesame taste is stronger than ang taste. Mm-hmm. You said the same thing about the 7 Eleven. Mm, so, is sesame taste is always stronger than anko taste? I believe so. Mm. I feel like the anko is just the vehicle mm. in which the sesame seed mm. taste can form. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, you know, because sesame seeds by themselves, I think it's too strong. Mm. And you need, you need something for the sesame seeds to blend together mm. with. So I think the anko is almost like... Yeah, just, just the thing to hold everything together. Mm, 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 oh. mm. You're absolutely right. I mostly taste the black sesame. Mm. The, one, the one from Lawson is spongier than the ones from 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven was softer, I think, but this one is spongier. So I'm not sure which one is better. I think it's just a matter of preference. Mm. Oh, well, we've come to the end of mm -hmm. this particular taste mm -hmm. test mm -hmm. and we have to decide which one we like the best. Mm -hmm. And I've already made up my mind. What about you? My favorite one was Buta no Kakuniman, the stewed pork berry one. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. You know what I choose? You know what my favorite was? Um, maybe same. Nope. No, no, no. <laughs> my favorite was the second one. It was that chashu ah, bun. Chashu bun. That chashu mm. bun. That one I would like to eat again mm. for sure. For See. sure. So this was very interesting for us. We hope you guys found this video interesting as well. If you've missed our Nikuman taste test from 7-Eleven, make sure to check that one out by clicking right over there. It's really interesting to compare these two because they are similar yet so, so different. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video. And if this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on our next video. Bye bye!